Muhammad Ali Bogra, the third Prime Minister of Pakistan who became Prime Minister in 1953 and he had to step down in favor of Chaudhry Muhammad Ali in 1955. These two years of his uh, period of Prime Ministership are very interesting. Uh, annals of history reveals that he was a career diplomat. Liaquat Ali Khan offered him to become the ambassador of Pakistan to Egypt and he wanted to send him to Cairo but Muhammad Ali Bogra preferred to be ambassador of Pakistan to Myanmar and he went to Yangon. After Myanmar he remained in the same post in Canada as a High Commissioner of Pakistan and in the last he was appointed as the Ambassador of Pakistan to the United States of America. Muhammad Ali Bogra is considered a Western educated and his uh, tendency and inclination towards uh, the Western capitalist ideology actually was the main factor to appoint him as the ambassador to United States of America. It's also the fact of the history that Muhammad Ali Bogra played an important role for the financial assistance uh, and military assistance for Pakistan uh, and he convinced America uh, to play the role in Pakistan. When he was the Prime Minister of Pakistan, he signed two defense military uh, pacts uh, with UK, Central Treaty Organization, and later the Parliament endorsed, uh, you know, the CENTO, and he also put Pakistan into the defense pact of uh, Southeast Asian Treaty Organization, CETO. So he is considered architect of Pakistan-US relationships. Muhammad Ali Bogra was born in Barisal, East Bengal on 19th October 1909. He was born into an elite and wealthy aristocrat family who were well known as the Nawabs of Bogra, traditionally very close to the British monarchy and they had a, a prefix Sahabzada, literally meaning the prince. And his father, Nawab Zadal Taf Ali Chaudhry, educated at the St. Xavier College in Calcutta, was a prominent figure in Dhaka and was also a local politician who served as the vice president of the Muslim League East Bengal. His father, Al Taf Ali Chaudhry, was fond of derby horse, dog show, sled dog racing. His grandfather, Nawab Ali Chaudhry, was also a politician who served as the first Bengali Muslim to be appointed as minister and played a pioneering role in the founding the Dhaka University along with Nawab Sarkhaja Salim Ullah Bahadur of Dhaka. Muhammad Ali Bogra grew up in Bogra having studied first at the local Asting house and then educated at the local Islamic madrasa in Calcutta. After his matriculation, he was sent to attend the President's College of Calcutta University from where he graduated in uh, political science in 1930. He was married twice. His first wife was Begum Hamida Muhammad Ali, with whom he had two sons. He later married Alia Saadi in 1955. The most interesting fact is that his second marriage led to the widespread protest against the polygamy by women organizations in the country. As far as concerns his role as a political political uh, leader, before the entrance in the politics, the Bogra family was influential Nawabs, active in Bengali politics and Muslim League as a party worker in 1930. Muhammad Ali Bogra uh, started his career from the platform of Muslim League and where he contested the election in 1937 from the Bogra constituency and sat in the opposition in the Bengal Legislative Assembly. 
His uncle Hassan Ali Chaudhry also won the seat. His father Altaf Ali also won the seat and defended the constituency. He was member of the ruling Krashik Praja party. In 1938, he was elected as chairman of Bogra district, which he served until 1942. He served in the opposition until 1943 when the Muslim League had gained political support and he was made parliamentary secretary to then Chief Minister Khaja Nazmuddin Hussain Shahid Sarwar the invited him to join as a member of his cabinet in 1946 and he was handed over the ministerial portfolio of health finance and local government as a health minister Mohammad Ali Bogra founded the Dhaka Medical College and the Kolkata Lake Medical College Bogra supported the Muslim League call for creation of Pakistan through the partition of British India and successfully defended his constituency in the general elections held in 1945 in 1947 joined the first constituent assembly of Pakistan while in Dhaka in 1948 he advised Muhammad Ali uh, Jinnah uh, uh, and received him as a governor general uh, and advised him for uh, not supporting Urdu because there was reportedly descended on the issue of the populist language movement in the state as far as concerns is uh, career as a diplomat he was appointed as the ambassador to myanmar in 1948 and he served in this capacity till 1949 later he was appointed as a high commissioner of pakistan to canada in from in 19 49 to 1952 in 1952 he was made ambassador to the united states of america he was widely held responsible for leading the country's dependency on the united states playing an active role in the pakistan lobby in the washington dc and uh, bringing pakistan closer to uh, america for military and economic aid for pakistan he helped formulating policy of front line state in battle against the russian communist containment policy by as a prime minister of pakistan he was serving in united states of america when bogra was recalled to karachi then federal capital from washington dc by malikullah muhammad after the dismissal of khaja nazmuddin from the prime minister office uh, due to his failure to control the issue of the language movement in east pakistan the rise of the socialist party in pakistan as well as the violent riots in lahore against the minority of ahmadiyya in 1953 and the partial imposition of martial law in lahore so khaja nazmuddin was dismissed and malik ghulam mohammad summoned uh, bogra back to karachi where he was appointed as the new prime minister and the president of the muslim league governor general ghulam mohammad uh, do appointed him as the prime minister and wanted to see him as a politician but he was unknown to the general public initially he kept the federal ministries of foreign affairs and defense until appointing a new cabinet so upon upon taking over the government bogra dismissed the elected government of fazle haq on 30th may 1954 and leveled charges against him on treachery on the on the treachery he had appointed then defense minister defense secretary skandar mirza as the governor but this appointment only lasted a couple of months prime minister bogra actually got a bill passed from the constituent assembly of pakistan and under this bill the power of the governor general were curtailed and he was bound to act upon the piece of advice of the cabinet prime minister and the parliament malik ghulam muhammad kept quiet and he planned how to curtail the power and how to teach the lesson to the prime minister of pakistan 
so this was very interesting uh, time and event of history male gulam muhammad uh, wrapped up the first constituent assembly on the allegation of uh, corruption failure to form the constitution of failure to form the constitution of pakistan and he did not dismiss mohammad ali bogra from the prime minister office he appointed a new cabinet entitled cabinet of all the talents and in this cabinet the first chief commander in chief of the pakistan army was also appointed as the defense minister as a when the assembly was dismissed then the president of the constituent assembly the speaker of the constituent assembly molvi tamizuddin who belonged to bengal he challenged it in the federal court later known as supreme court of pakistan and justice uh, mohammad munir dismissed the decision of the sind court which was given in the favor of restoration of the first constituent assembly and the act of the dismissal of the assembly was declared illegal however this decision was nullified by the federal court and justice mohammad munir declared that under the constitution of pakistan that was interim constitution of pakistan india act 1935 the sind court had no jurisdiction to give any verdict on the issues related to the federal government and on the technical basis the decision was nullified and then the law of the necessity was invented in his decision that this is the time that this assembly was dismissed because the first constituent assembly had failed to produce the constitution the politicians had become corrupt and the situation of lawlessness starvation and the conflict between the governor general office and the prime minister office has badly affected the political scenario in pakistan being uh, the student of the history i believe if the judiciary of pakistan at that time did not support the bureaucratic alliance of civil military uh, uh, oligarchy the situation in the pakistan would have been entirely different and if the first constituent assembly was restored and the decision of the governor general was dismissed then no constituent assembly of pakistan would be would be dissolved in future and the first constitution of pakistan was framed very early mohammad ali bogra remained in power till 1955 during these uh, years mohammad ali bogra played very important role to bridge the gap between east and west pakistan when he presented bogra formula under this bogra formula he suggested by cameral parliament uh, with equal representation in the senate and as well as uh, uh, proportionate representation in the provinces so there were five provinces east pakistan and west pakistan is four provinces east pakistan was given more seats 165 out of 300 due to their social edge uh, social uh, cohesion and their uh, number of population was higher than the west 
the smallest number of seats were allocated to Balochistan, then Sindh, then KPK and Punjab. Uh, and uh, language issue was left to the uh, to the constitution makers who would decide about the national language of Pakistan. So later in 1956, both Bengali and Urdu was adopted as the national language. As far as concerns, uh, the one unit scheme, Bogra also started to work on the one unit scheme and he stated on 12th 22nd November 1954, then one unit scheme uh, would bring coherence in Pakistan. There would be no Punjabi, Bengali, Sindhi, Khairpuris, Balochi and Pashtuns and all would be Pakistanis. The government presented uh, the view that uh, one unit scheme is basically to reduce the burden on the exchequer of Pakistan and to enhance the capacity of the administrative uh, efficiency of the government but Bengalis did not believe it they believed that by doing so the West Pakistan was converted into one unit and one unit was converted and established because smaller uh, provinces were deprived of their right to have an alliance with the Bengalis in forming the government so this was the story of uh, Muhammad Ali Bogra, who died in 1963 and he was buried in, in Dhaka. So as a diplomat, he contributed as a architect of the Pak-U.S. relations. As a prime minister, he tried his best to deliver, but the bureaucratic rule of the civil military bureaucrats did not allow him to work. As far as concerns is uh, efforts to bring the East and West Pakistan closer, Bogra Farmula was the best framework which he tried to uh, bring into Pakistan. Keep on watching Pocket TV, subscribe Pocket TV to become the voice of voiceless people in Pakistan. In the next episode, we will discuss about the fourth Prime Minister of Pakistan, Chaudhry Muhammad Ali, who was the close friend of Malayhullah Muhammad. Allah Hafiz.